Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to create the responsive navigation bar using HTML, CSS, and jQuery. Look at the final demo, in which we can see the navigation bar with logo on right side and menu items on the left side, and the banner image below the navigation bar. When we open the demo below the 768 pixels, we can see the transformation of the navigation bar into mobile view, with hamburger coming into the existence. When we click the hamburger button, we can see the vertical menu bar with menu items. For demo files, you can visit my GitHub account, where you can clone it or download the files. I will leave the link below this video, check it out. Let's get started with HTML structure. Create the wrapper and navbar div element. Inside navbar create the hamburger, right and left navbar elements. Inside the left navbar div element, add the anchor element. Next, inside the right div element, add the menu items with anchor elements. Finally, add the banner image. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. In this demo, I am going to use the two Google font families. One is used for logo theming and other is used for menu items. Search for the comfort tile font family first and next search for coiny font family, then include both font families into the CSS file. Now reset the default margin and padding values of all HTML elements to zero. Next, include the comfort top font family. Use the box sizing property so the padding and border get included into the width of the element. Remove the bullets and underlines using the list style and text decoration properties.
Set the 100% width to the wrapper element. Hide the hamburger in the desktop view. Style the navbar div element, by setting its height to 70 pixels, 10 pixels of padding, use the flex concept to align the logo and menu items. By default, the flex direction is a row. Use the justify content property to create the space around the logo and menu and use the align items to place the elements vertically in the center. Then style the logo, here use the coiny font family. Set the LI items display value to inline block. Width to 90 pixels, and center the items. Style the anchor elements. Use the transition property for smooth effect on hover. By targeting the active class, set the color to the first ally item. On hover change the anchor element's color. Now set the banner image's width to 100% so that it occupies the full width of the browser.
Let's theme the tab in mobile. To do so first, include the responsive meta tag in the head section of the HTML structure. Next, write the media query for the maximum width of 768 pixels. When the browser width is below 768 pixels, whatever we write between the media queries gets applied. Change the flex direction to the column. By default the direction is a row. Hide to auto. Now set the hamburger developments display value to block, so that it gets visible below 768 pixels. Now add the hamburger icon. I am going to use the font awesome icons. First, include the font awesome CDN link in the head section, next search for the icon, and then include it. Now place the icon in the top right corner, which is relative to the navbar development. Decrease the logo font size. Next set the LI elements display value to block so that each LI element occupies full width. Now hide the right nav bar development. Let's start the jQuery. First, include the jQuery CDN link.
Then whenever we click the hamburger menu, add the active toggle class to the right nav bar development. Here we can see the toggle active class is added when we click the hamburger. Now by targeting the active toggle class, set the right nav bar's display value to block. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section, see you in another video.